Good morning, everyone. Morning. <laughs> Very good class. Uh, funny story about how I came to be here today. Um, the topic is courage today. And um, yesterday, a text went out to a bunch of people saying that the person scheduled to lead service today wasn't feeling well and could someone step in. And my first thought was, sure, I can do that. And then I thought, what on earth am I thinking? So there was like 10 other people in a text thread. I thought, someone's going to say, sure, I'll do it. A couple hours later, we get a plea. Please, someone, someone do meditation tomorrow. So I thought, okay, fine, I'll do it. And um, so it's very interesting that um, today's topic is courage because um, I'm having to practice a lot of it to be here right now. <laughs> you might notice that my name is not on the schedule because I don't normally do this. So hang in there with me, everyone, and we're going to have a great time. Um, second part to this story, I'm having a fantastic weekend. I looked at this topic schedule and it was practicing silence. So all morning, early afternoon, I'm formulating thoughts in my head about silence and um, things about it that I've talked about before at retreats or presentations. And it was all coming together. And then Patty sent a text about if I needed something on courage. Here was a place on the web that she found. And then Jake, my husband, said something about courage. And I was like, better look at the schedule. And sure enough, I had looked at the wrong week. So I had to throw out everything I had prepared to start over. So, um, so yeah, it's it's been fun. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you all. So thank you. Um, <laughs> um, in case anyone hasn't been here before, um, we start the day with um, some music, and then after a couple songs, the kids go out to their children's service, and we have another song to lead us into our inspirational talk and quiet meditation song. My, doing great. Quiet meditation time. And then um, we end the morning with um, some more songs and then we all go next door to the lodge and enjoy a nice light brunch together and practice fellowship and companionship. Today I'll be speaking about developing spiritual courage. What do we all have in common with superheroes and lion tamers? Courage. Courage isn't just for those who leap off tall buildings or face down dragons in caves. Courage can belong and does belong to each of us every day as we face our own personal fire-breathing dragons. Being courageous isn't the absence of fear. It's being afraid and doing the thing anyway. When I first heard that, Thing, I was like, oh, that makes it like all came together for me. As with many things in life, courage can be practiced and developed. It's like building a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it gets. The more courage we practice, the more courageous we become. I grew up feeling full of fear. I was painfully shy. I would never speak my mind or ask for what I wanted. I was so afraid of rejection that I never did or said anything if I could help it. I was afraid of making mistakes. I was extremely afraid of heights, and on and on. Every day was a new experience in fear. Over the years, I worked really hard to overcome those things. And many people who know me today would find it really hard to recognize that person that I used to be. When I was 18 or so, I was shopping in a department store in Los Angeles, and I could not find the thing I was looking for. It was a pair of jeans or something. And rather than ask for help, which was absolutely terrifying, I just kept trying to find my jeans. And after about half an hour, 45 minutes, 
of wandering the aisles, I had a talk with myself and said, you have got to go ask for help or you're going to be here all day. So I put on my big girl pants and found a sales lady and asked her and she took me right to what I needed and I was like, I did it. Like, nothing bad happened. I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. All is well with the world. And that was really a turning point for me. Um, and since then, it's been a steady, hopefully, series of accomplishments in regards to incorporating more courage in my life. So you, too, can look for small situations in your life where you can face fears and find moments to practice courage. Some tips to help embrace courage and conquer your fears are embrace fear. I told this story once a number of years ago, so hopefully if you've heard it, you've forgotten it. And if you haven't, you'll find it inspiring in your own way. Um, I have been to Disneyland many times in my life, and from the first time I went there at age seven, there were certain rides I never went on because they were terrifying to me. One of them being the Matterhorn. And everyone could not believe I had never been on the Matterhorn. But every time I walked by it, there was cars full of people roaring around this mountain. And the Matterhorn's solid and just has windows peeking through it. So all you can see was a flash of cars of people screaming their minds out. And as you're farther away in the park, you can hear the screams coming from the Matterhorn. And I was like, no way am I going to put myself through that. So um, a number of years ago, I went to Disneyland with my best friend and our daughters. And I decided I was going to go on every ride and face my fears. And my heart's beating a little bit just thinking about it. <laughs> so I think one of the first things we went on was... Um, Splash Mountain, which is a lovely ride. You're going on a log road through a river, and there's these beautiful forest creatures singing on either side of you, and it's happy and glorious, and then you spit out a door and drop off a cliff, and it's terrifying, but I did it. My heart was through the roof on the bottom, but I was like, all right, one down, the rest of the park to go. And then I think we went on the Matterhorn, and that ride is like now one of my favorite rides. It's not that scary. And so is Thunder Mountain Railroad, which is like a roller coaster. So I went on probably like five or six terrifying rides. And the last one was Space Mountain, which I don't know how many of you have ever been to Disneyland, but it's in the dark in a building. And the music is like da 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 da, -da And there's flashing lights. And my nervous system was done. <laughs> I got off that ride and my knees were weak. And I'm like, I have been courageous. I'm so proud of myself, but I'm done. <laughs> and so I just sat aside while a Lester group ran on some terrifying death drop ride of some sort. And even though it was a challenging day, it was so rewarding because I had been missing out on these really fun experiences. And... Um, I was also just so proud of myself for conquering what for me were very major fears. So look for situations like that in your own life. They don't have to be that big. They can be smaller. Which leads me to baby steps. Don't try to conquer everything all at once or all your fears in one day. Because that's a huge task. How do you eat an elephant? one bite at a time. Just as it's much more difficult to address a huge task or a massive problem all in one go, it's more easily sol solvable and approachable if you just break it down into small bits, which allows you to take co control of your fears one at a time, one step at a time, and gives courage a better sense better chance of success. As Lao Tzu wisely said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, what will your first courageous step be today? Be okay with rejection. 
That was something that paralyzed me for a long time. Ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? When you ask for something, the worst that can happen is they say no. If you don't try, we'll never know. Don't let fear control you so much that you don't live your life to the fullest. You will miss out on so much joy and so many wonderful experiences. I've always told my kids to not be afraid to make mistakes because those are the greatest way we learn. Winston Churchill said, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Failures are stepping stones to success. Be vulnerable. Courage often requires us to be vulnerable. I'm being vulnerable. I can't talk either. I'm being vulnerable sitting here today talking to you. You might not like what I have to say. You might think my voice is weird. Who knows? But I'm here doing the thing. These words of Brene Brown have inspired me many times through moments like these. Vulnerability is not winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up and be seen when we have no control over the outcome. And the most key thing is spiritual courage. A key courageous act is to be honest with yourself about your own personal relationship with God. What are you doing every day to nurture that relationship, to water those seeds and watch them grow? Are you meditating every day, even if it's just for a few minutes? Even if it's just when you get to work, you sit in the car in the parking lot for a few minutes? and breathe the light up and down your spine? Are you doing your best to live a virtuous life? Every day there are moments that we all have where we can make a choice to go this way or that way. And oftentimes those choices are to do or do nothing. And it's when we step up and do that we grow. Do we practice the eight paths of conscious living? Do we try to eat well? Do we try to get exercise? Are we kind to each other, practicing compassion? It's easy for our minds to tell us little lies. Oh, I'll meditate tomorrow. Oh, I could have helped that person get their groceries out of their car, but I'm busy. So pay attention when your mind is telling you things, whether they're from your ego or a negative space, or from when they're a truthful, positive, courageous space. Because it's so easy for our minds to make excuses for us. If our greatest goal in life is to cultivate a closer relationship with God, with Spirit, with Mother Father, then we need to courageously peel back those layers of fear and put the path to God first in our lives. And lastly, believe in yourself and be kind to yourself. Facing our fears and practicing courage is not easy. So be kind to ourselves as we're on this path. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you are right. There was a recurring sketch on Saturday Night Live in the 1990s. It was called Daily Affirmation with Stuart Smalley. Some of you might remember this. Stuart Smalley was played by Al Franken, and he would sit and look into a mirror and recite a positive affirmation in order to help boost his confidence. I'm good enough. 
I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. And it sounds hokey, but telling yourself that you've got this, you can do something, really is powerful. So don't dismiss it. It's like fake it till you make it. If you believe you can, you're halfway there. Courage is also contagious, so surround yourself with people who believe in you, like all of us here together. Courage is a superpower that we all have. We just need the courage to unlock it within ourselves. Now, if everyone would like to get comfortable in their seats, sit up nice and straight so the energy can go up and down our spines without impediment. We're going to close our eyes and have a short silent meditation period.
when I first closed my eyes earlier and began to concentrate on taking deep breaths and feeling the light of God move up and down my spine, I was overcome with such a feeling of joy that it brought tears to my eyes. And that joy came from being here with all of you and sharing this experience with all of you. Those of you in the room here at Sunburst and those from afar watching this on YouTube, I am so grateful to be a part of this experience with each and every one of you. So thank you. If you please follow me in prayer. Almighty Spirit, we are so blessed to be here together, both physically and virtually. We feel your presence, and we will never take it for granted. Let us be shining lights of your love and grace. We are so grateful for this opportunity to practice the virtue of courage and grow ever closer to you. Amen.